King Misi Zulu Kazuelitini's advisers have rejected reports that His Majesty has been, I quote, bribed by the ANC delegation with 10 cows. Now, the party secretary general, Fiki Lambalula, recently visited the king ahead of the party's ongoing meeting in Durban. Uh, one of the advisers, PG Mavundla, he joins me now to unpack this. Um, Mr. Mavundla, basically, is this uh, bribery or a mistaken for a tradition, basically? Well, the, the, the heading, uh, I could say to all South Africans, uh, the heading on the, on, the, on the front page of the papers is that ANC uh, King's bribery, and then there's a question mark. What we don't understand, why does one even get closer to think of anything that is so-called bribery? when the African National Congress has requested to meet the king, even invited the media uh, to see what was happening to, to show that there was nothing under the table. That is what we don't understand. But what makes the matter even worse is that quite a number of uh, political parties have been to see the king, uh, from the late king up to the current king, the FF to Kenguni Pool there, uh, the President Mashabo of Action SA did exactly the same thing. Many different people have done so. Now, when the king is mixing with the uh, members of the ruling party, and then we are told there is a bribe, that is what we don't understand. And uh, unfortunately, just before the media was allowed in, uh, one of the prince, a senior prince, humbly requested that they must please re report on facts they mustn't start uh, making insinuation of things that have not has happened or that have not been said. So we're surprised when we wake up this morning with this news. Yeah, it's well, we, we know of reports, you know, of the EFF who visited the late king, um, Goodwill as well, Itini as well. And back then, I think they represented him with five cows or, or something along those lines. So uh, basically tradition, as you say. Um, but let's talk about the meeting. Yes. Let's talk about, uh, you know, Fiki Lembalula being there, um, visiting the, the king. What was that meeting all about? What was discussed there, if you may share with us? Well, from what was discussed, uh, nothing was secret. There's nothing that we, we can't say. The, the, the ANC led by its uh, Secretary General, uh, uh, Fiki Lembalula, they came to see the, sing, the, the, the king. And their explanation was very simple, that they've got programs over this weekend until Monday, and it will be unfair of them as a party that respect the traditional leaders to be seen meeting with Amakosi and to be seen going into, into different uh, uh, districts without really reporting to the king that they are in his territory. That is all that was uh, uh, reported by the ANC. And I think we all understand as it has been all over the media that the end of is doing their political work. That's all that was there. And then out of it, the ANC said they would like to be coming back and visiting uh, uh, the king in his, at his palace. And then on that day, it will be a day then that they will come with these uh, 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 10 cattle. But yes, that was pronounced yesterday. And that's all that was in the meeting. Hmm. Well, um, you know, we, we, we've now heard, you might have seen on ENCI as well, you know, the NWC, or you do know about the NWC, like you know, you've, you've, you've met with Mr. Fikile Mbalula, is in, in um, KwaZulu-Natal. Um, various uh, topics on discussion about the state that the province is in. Um, what's the part the royal family can play here in reviving um, not just you know some parts of the province but also um, some parts of the Etequini uh, metro even as well how can you know the, the royal family the king what role can he play here to help assist um, government to make sure that this is an up and running province again well first of all myself and uh, professor Mapalala we although we have not been told we believe that we are part and parcel of this uh, advisory uh, a, a team simply because of our submissions uh, to the to the king which was uh, submitted to the late king and then when the king the in the throne right now came in we also went to him to to present our views 
about uh, uh, the land of the Zulus. So basically, he understood where we were coming from. I think all the Zulus are very concerned as to where our province is going in the, in the, in the, in the roadmap of the country. And of course, if the king have a say in what is happening, we truly believe that some people will listen because the Zulus do listen to the monarchy. There is no argument about that. We don't have too many kings in this province. We only have one, which is Misu Zulu. Uh, uh, casualty. So basically, we do believe that there's a role that he has to play. But as you well are aware that there's been a court case after court case, All right. uh, there has also been the, the, the whole lot of argument on things that uh, even the president has pronounced already, mm, issued sorry. the statement, the coordination yeah. was done. So basically, unfortunately, Mr. Mavundla, unfortunately, Mr. Mavundla, that is unfortunately all we have time for right now. Thank you so much for, for, for giving us your time.